ALCS Game 4. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Boston Red Sox. Major League Baseball, right here on 2K Sports. Welcome. We are bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. This is a series right now lopsided 3-0. Going to come back and be made, but we're going to find out. The American League pennants on the line. Tremendous starting pitcher when the sinker ball's working. Look for ground balls with Chen Ming Wong on the mound. We've got over 39,000 in attendance. A quick look. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, the offense is going to be important to support this good right-handed pitcher on the mound today. He's facing a great lineup. This team could put some runs up on the board. So if his club could score early, it could take some of the pressure off of Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup. Ozzie Guillen's good. Play ball. As this ball game gets underway, Steve, what's going to be the key for the Red Sox? But no team wants to end their season with a loss, but that's exactly what can happen here today unless some magic happens. But lest we forget, this is the playoffs where magic has been known to happen a time or two in the past. Why not one more time? Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. And you, you just take a look at the faces on these guys. After playing a long season, you know you can come back. You know there's always that chance to win. There's, there's no reason to get down here. Well, that's what they have to do is fall back on what got them to this point. Draw from that and take it to him. Johnny Damon on his swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. Alexi got it, but didn't do anything with it. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. A lifetime number, well, 259 off Boston. Swing and a hot shot. And that one's going to drop in. That'll be our first hit of the game. Take a look at the Red Sox defensively. Highlight Steve for these fielders. Oh, Kevin Euclid is so tough. He's a guy that's willing to get dirty to make the tough plays, and he's consistent because he never takes a pitch off. He's always focused. Now Paul Canerco batting with a runner on first. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. That'll be off the green monster out there in left. Not in time, in there at third. Now but great job of looking looking for his pitch. And on that at bat, he's able to keep his hitting streak going. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. Two men on, one out. At the belt, long kicks. There's a the ball. Hit well on high drive, deep into center field. Gone, that's good for three. And bingo, just like that, it is three to nothing. Wow, a three-run shot, the first runs we've gotten on the board. Three-run home run, you better believe that's important. Let's see the impact on our Pepsi WPA chart. A oh, great piece of hitting right there. He turns on that one, rotates the hips, and drives the ball. And that's going to give them the lead here and an early lead. I'm going to see if they can tack on a few more here in the first. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Here's the pitch. That one swung on its line. And Pedroia pulls it in. This ball scorched right at the second base to show quick reflexes to be able to make the play. Swing and a ball hit very high, soaring straight away left field. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. Well, you would have to think with the speed that's on first base right now that they'll put him in motion to try to make things happen here in this game. It's going to be Przinski. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0-1. Oh, well, it looked like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. Back up the middle. And the diving stop. He's up. And he's out at first. What an out. They got a nice head start right there. The offense early. The White Sox are leading three. I'm going to take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. John, what do you think his strategy is going against this Boston lineup? 
But don't blink your eye on this one because if you do, you're going to miss some pitches from Mark Burley, the quickest worker in all of baseball. When he gets it, he throws it. There's no wasted time. He has a low pitch count. He throws a fastball, a curve, a changeup, a slider, a cut fastball. He throws them all for strikes, and he uses his defense. He doesn't strike out a lot of guys, but he keeps the ball in play and down in the zone. I'm going to go after that curveball, but it's in the zone. One ball, two strikes. Outstanding rotation on that pitch. Look at the mechanics for this pitcher. It comes out of his hand and just falls off the table. One away. You play at third base, you have to expect the ball to get on you quickly. But I don't think anybody expects it to get on you that quickly. And here's Dustin Pedroia. Burley with a delivery. This one swung on line towards the middle. And it's caught by Ramirez. Looked like he was on it, but he just didn't quite center it. He ends up being a soft liner to the shortstop. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Well, the pitcher gets away with one right here. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. Batter just let it go by. Ball! And Kevin Euclid watches that one go by. It's even. Strike and the change up one and two now. The one two from Burley. Ball. Swing and a foul straight back. And Euclid fights off another one in this event. Well, anytime you're behind in the count, you just want to try to spread out and try to put the ball in play. And that's what he did right oh. there. He didn't put it in play, though, but he kept it foul to keep the at-bat alive. Uh, Kevin Euclid, he whatever he was looking for, it wasn't that. Strike three. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. The White Sox maintaining their lead. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. And it's Joe Creedy now. He'll start us out here in the second. Number 20. At the belt, long kicks, throws. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. When you say ground ball, that's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Greedy will lean in on that zone now. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. You're out. Joe Greedy comes up empty. A swing, no contact. Here's the slider coming right at you in K Camp. You better look at that. Now, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. One out, nobody on. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Strike and two. that's a strike. Tome is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here. And he's struggling right now. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as K. Akira, he's getting that hard, boring, sinking action on that pitch today. Getting guys to swing over the top. Two strikeouts in a row. First pitch on the way to Damon. Towards the middle. Wong. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And they're held in check here in this half inning. And the Red Sox coming up next. Lead off hitter, Victor Martinez. Number 41. Victor Martinez. Burley with a delivery. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. That's a strike, and it's 0-2, and Martinez now will go into protecting that zone. 
swing and a miss. Three strikes on Victor Martinez. He's down. KCAM's going to show us this 12 6 curve. Let's get a better look. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. And it's starting to head up towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. And he gets there in time, second base. Well, he finds a pitch he can drive, and his hands just fly through the strike zone. Perfect execution at the plate. He's in scoring position with just one out. Well, a runner in scoring position for Adrian Belter. And he checks the swing there, but it's in there for a strike on one. Here's the delivery. And Adrian Beltre looks at that one for a ball and leaving it up. He deals. Right. Ah, good moving cutter. And it's one and two now. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Change up that time. Swings and misses. That'll be strike three and two down. Now, good pitch right at the knees there. He swung right over the top of it and just couldn't put it in play. Looked like the cutter that time for a called strike. And you could throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. And that's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Amita to protect. You're and he strikes out Hermita on a swing and a miss. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Still unable to score. Boston still a zero. Batters two through four coming right up. Well, we we'll, uh, won't consider it extreme weather, but it is very cold Alexi here. Field conditions Ramirez. are okay. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Had a base hit his last time up. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. That one swung on, hit in the air. It is foul. It was that close to being gone. Here's the 0 1 from Wong. Ramirez will foul that one away. And Martinez setting his target. Swing and a miss gets away. He's heading for first. And out. The catcher makes the play. Oh, that's a great play, Gary. Pitch in the dirt gets away from the catcher. Does a great job retrieving the ball and gunning him out at first. If you're a pitcher, you never want those strikeouts not to get recorded. Good play to be able to get the out at first base. At the belt, Wong kicks, throws. Swung on and missed. On one. But just a little bit out in front of that fastball and that swing. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Good slider that time, ruled the ball, one and two. But if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Foul ball! That's it, foul by Canerco. Slider swung on and missed. Two down. Well, check out the movement on this on K Cam. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. Carlos Quinton at the plate for two away. Homered back in the first inning. First pitch to Quinton. There's contact. He drove it well. And there's Cameron. Out number three. No runs, no hits. We're taking a look at Terry Franco. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. Ground ball towards second. Back up the plate. That's one away. Designated hitter. Number 36. The DH in the box. Base is empty with one away. Strike Burley catches him looking. 
Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. 0-1 pitch is a change. Swung on and missed. 0-2. One two pitch coming. Swung on, fouled away. The pitch. Cutter called strike three. He knew it too. Two down. Check out the movement on this on K Cam. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. That pitch certainly not lacking movement, John. Well, it's controlled movement, and that's why he's able to throw it so effectively to catch guys looking like he did in that at bat. And he starts Ellsbury out. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Better to go after the fastball when the guy has quality secondary pitches. Even though it's down in the zone, you've got to swing at that. And it's 0 2. Ellsbury cut it down, protect. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Beckham throws on to first in time to retire the side. So Mike Burley gets him one two three as a shutout through three innings of work and it'll be the White Sox. And Beckham's in the box lined out in his last at bat. Number 15 Gordon Beckham. Now the first pitch. There's a swing and a smash. Oh that one's off the wall. Stops at second. Two baggers. Well, great hitters get hits at just the right time. And this double right here with no one down is a nice leadoff hit to get the offense rolling early here in this inning. And Alex Rios up. Lifetime, 325 off the Red Sox. So Rios is set down. Now coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Chance to drive it a run. A.J. Brzezinski grounded out his last time up. First pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss on Wong's pitch. 0 and 1. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Here's the pitch. And A.J. Przezinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Well, that's what you love to see from a pitcher setting guys down quickly. Keeps that pitch count down. One, two, three. Can't ask for any more efficiency than that, John. Now an excellent pitch selection there. First pitch to Creedy. There's a swing and a liner. And that's the third out. Beltre grabs it. It's called short work of three. Took six pitches. White Sox three. Boston nothing. And it's Pedroia batting. Number 15, Dustin Pedroia. First pitch on the ground to short, fielded by Ramirez, and that sets down the Droya. One down, here's Kevin Euclid. 0 for 1 thus far. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And they got to him in time to tag him up. Oh, Gary, he's pitching well right now. That's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. And Martinez ready to start the at bat. First pitch. And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Oh, Gary, they just have not been able to mount any offense here today. I mean, one hit into the fourth inning, and, and obviously they haven't scored any runs, so they're going to have to change their approach at the plate. And he'll step on first to retire the side. No hits, nobody left on, and a good defensive half inning. Red Sox can't get the offense going. End of the order, ready to do some work at the plate. Here's a look at Ozzy, Ozzy Guillen. He has to be pleased with the position he's in now. Offense is cooking. At the belt, Wong kicks, throws. Tolman will foul that one away. Here's
Here's the 0 1 from Long. Strike and that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Looking for the ground ball out, trying to get the hitter to roll over on it. Throws that You're sinker out. on the outside corner. Yeah. Down on the strikes Chicago there. Line. Nice piece of pitching field there. And it's Johnny Damon now. 0 for 2 thus far. One out, bases him. First pitch on the way to Damon. And a swing and a miss on Wong's pitch. 0 and 1. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Damon will foul that one away. And he fouls another one off. So far, eight strikeouts today. We got a second now to see the four seam fastball in KK. Alexi. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's behind that pitch. 0 and 1. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Shen Ming Wong, he runs the count to 0 and 2. Pitch in the dirt, blocked by the catcher. Long winds up the one-two delivery. Swing and a line drive. And there's the third out. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. And the Red Sox coming up next. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And it's Mike Cameron in the box now. He'll lead off for the home team here in the home half of the fifth. Burley with a delivery. Hard grounded a short. Fielded by Ramirez. So Cameron is retired. Now batting with one down, Adrian Beltre. First one to Beltre. Here's the pitch. Hit up the middle. Burley. Oh, two away. Up to the plate. With a bunch Fast of reaction by the pitcher right there. That ball got back on him quickly. He makes the play. Yeah, nice job. Base is empty with two up. Lined up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And Paul Canerco to lead it on. One for two in the ballgame. And he starts Canerco out. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Well, what a great swing right there. And anytime you can put yourself in scoring position with no outs, you're looking for big things to happen. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He homered earlier in the ball game. Well, with this advantage right now, he's been a major contributor offensively and driving in. Right. Swing and a ball hit high and deep to left field. That ball is way back there. Goodbye, home run, a two-run digger. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. No outs and the base is empty. And Martinez sets up his target. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Well, Steve, we know this lineup's capable of doing this sort of thing, but boy, if you're on the other side, you've got to really feel like they hit you right in the solar plexus. And, and, and from the pitching perspective, they have to try to shut them down. You cannot let them continue to expand this lead. 
It's going to be very difficult to come back. He got him. That's nine Ks now. Really nice sequence right there. He had good rhythm, three great pitches in a row, and sits him down. Hitter never got a chance to get his balance, get his eye bad going there, John. Well, he just didn't look good right there in the batter's box. He needs to take a better defensive approach to extend the at bat a little longer. Strike it's one. strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. He says, I'm going to go at him, but I'm going to go at him away so that I can't get hurt. He just runs that fastball back. Right. And the pitch taken for a strike by Rio. Got him. Strikeout number 10 today. That's impressive breaking action right there on an 87 mile an hour pitch. And here's the first one. Strike one. And a swing and a miss on Wong's pitch. 0 and 1. The pitch. Strike and two. that's a strike. A.J. Frasinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Here's the pitch. Swings, clobbers it deep. Left center field. Goodbye, home run. Well, I don't know what's going wrong for these guys. Extending their lead to six. Solo, big shot. And doing the pitching, it'll be Mark Hendricks. He'll be the reliever for the Red Sox. Well, this wasn't the type of start the pitcher wanted or the manager wanted or his team wanted. Now they've got to see if the bullpen can do a little bit better. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Greedy. He'll lean in on that zone now. Bring him up. Strike three. But boy, what a solid offensive inning that was. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Leadoff batter will get a shot at it later on in this inning. Here's Terry Francona, the manager. The thoughts of the manager. One can only speculate, but at this point, you've got to believe he's got some words for that next practice and the first pitch ball. it's taken for a ball bottom dropping out on that burly pitch he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound and the defense has not felt that much pressure either but only Straight one on. runner left on base and you know we're moving through the middle part of this ball game so you know they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense Straight one and two the hitter saw fastball the pitcher threw change up not a good combination for the hitter. Oh! Still one and two. Here's the pitch. Oh, good eye by Marco Scudero. He lays off that one count evened up. That misses below the knees. That'll run us to the full 3-2 count. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. You're and out. he catches Marco Scudero looking strike three, and he'll be heading back to the dugout. This is the effective use of the fastball. You can move it around the zone and hit your spot. They go down and in right there. Looks like the hitter was thinking away. Base is empty with one away. And the first pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Back up. Over to Canerco. That's two gone. Number two of Baker's dozen. 13 in a row he set down. Absolutely lights out. What a performance. On the ground is short. And Ramirez feels the ball. Throws on the first side is retired. And he has just been magnificent through six. Still got outs to get Steve, but he's in this one. Now, Gary, he's got his great stuff and his great location. The White Sox still on top.
Jim Tomei to lead it off. 0 for 2 thus far. Number 27, Jim Tomei. Here it comes. Right and he gets this one by him on one. Well, the hitters are going to have to be ready for that long, arching curveball because he can low Liner towards the hole. And that gets in there. Tomei a base hit. And that'll break Johnny Damon to the plate. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. First pitch on the way to Damon. Damon will foul that one away. There's a swing and a smash. One away now. Now up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Swung on and missed, 0-1. Well, he threw him the cutter right there, and it looked like he was trying to chase that one. Be patient, young man. It'll get there. Swing and a miss. He's behind, 0-2. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Three strikes on Alexei Ramirez is set down. Now, K-Camp shows 85 miles per hour in the velocity and not much movement at all. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Well, you know what? I mean, it hasn't been flawless, but so far, they'll take it. Less right base two. runners than outs in an inning for a change. Your Top fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. The White Sox 6, Boston nothing. Up. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. Fresh count on Pedroia. Here it comes. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And Ramirez fields the ball. And that sets down Pedroia. You can almost taste the adrenaline right now, Steve. You can just tell he's getting stronger as he goes along. Uh, he's got so much confidence. He's just knocking the bats out of the batter's hands. Good pitch from Burley swung on and missed. The key to a great changeup is deception and velocity change. He has both of hit up the middle. And Euclid has got himself a base hit. And that'll bring Victor Martinez up to hit. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. And he pays for it. And Martinez ready to start the at bat. First pitch. The right center. And that'll put Martinez on at first now. Here's a great chance for Boston. Number 24. This one's coming to the inside part of the play, but he manages to put the bat on the ball and drive it to right field. We call that a muscle hit, Steve. He just muscled that to the opposite field. How do you know it's a muscle hit? Muscles. Take a look at these. Oh, guns. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching. Swing, hot shot. And that's going to get down as Euclidus will come home. Boston, what offensive production right now. Number 29, Adrian. Well, anytime you turn to the bullpen, you expect these guys to get out, not come in and surrender RBI singles. He needs to shut it down right here. Swung on and a ground to the first. The opportunity for offense is right now. He's got to lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Bases are loaded here with only one away. Fresh count on Hermida. Here it comes. On the ground to second. The second for one. On to first. Safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Well, you know, Gary, I tell you what, most major league hitters will not even offer that pitch. But this guy's one of those rare guys that absolutely loves that pitch down and in. That's why he got that hit. 
The O O delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. They're going to like their approach here right now. I mean, they know they just need to get base on the ground to first. Throw on to second base, force play, side retired. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. Boston, now they're. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He's already right homered fielder, twice in this one. Again, they're having a big offensive day. I think that's pretty obvious, but clearly one of the major components of this offense are his at bats. I mean, two home runs. He's swinging the bat very well. Looks so comfortable at the plate. So Quinton is retired. One away. And Beckham's in the box. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 oh and 1. That two seam fastball away is just screaming to be hit Strike on two. the ground as the hitter opens up. Awfully tough to hit with that kind of movement. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a breaking ball. Two down. When you love what he did right there, there's no time wasted. Let's go right after him and sit him down. That's about keeping a hitter off balance, and he certainly did there. Well, just a hello, how you doing, and see you later. A swing line to left center, and there's Ellsbury for the third out. Three up, three down for Mark Hendrickson. And uh, here come the Red Sox. Be the home half of the eighth. In the box now, their rookie DH. He's going to lead off the home half of the eighth. Bush going to the mound as the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. Steve, uh, we'll be watching how he approaches this Boston lineup. Well, the one thing you'll notice when you watch Dave Bush, he's a strike thrower. He strike throws ball. balls over the plate, pitching to contact, understanding that his worst enemy is the base on ball. Because if you're walking hitters, it means you're also getting a lot of 2-0, 3-1 counts where hitters strike can tee off on it, and Bush doesn't have a swing and miss pitch. And that swung on and hit Rios and in there at least for a single as it gets down and that'll bring up Jacoby Ellsberg. Well this is not what you imagine when you go out to make a pitching change you bring a guy in from out of the bullpen and the first hitter he faces he serves up a hit. Let's see if he can get out of this. And he takes it inside one and oh. Well it's getting late right now they're down a bunch so they need a big inning here they can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. The pitch from Bush. Well, he checked the swing. They said he went around, and the appeal will be to the third base umpire. Just a bit too aggressive. That strike's going to hold up. Here's a swing, a soft liner to the left side. And he gets it down after coming up empty in this ball game. Finally gets one going his way. Up next, Dustin Pedroia. Ground out victim last time through. First pitch on the way. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. One. And they get two. Great double play. But Gary, get a chance to look at this double play on the replay. And this is an outstanding effort to make the catch. Get to the bag and make the throw. That's a rally killer. And that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here. With a run standing 90 feet away, here's Kevin Euclid. And Bush's pitch looked at for a strike 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, oh. if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdowns there. You only need four outs left to win this ballgame. Oh. And he fouls off another one. Well, the battle starts when you step in the batter's box, but the real battle starts when the count is. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. Struck him out, and he's still going to make it down to first base. I like Garrett able to capitalize on this mistake. The catcher's got to keep it in front, knock it down. Couldn't get the out. We'll see how it impacts the outcome of this game. And now an extra out in this inning. We're going to see Victor Mark hit up the middle. So Dave Bush out of the inning. And it'll be the White Sox. Leading it off, 
Jeff A.J. Przinsky. Last time up, he launched one out of the park. A.J. Przinsky. Here's the first pitch. Passes up a ball this time and swings for a strike that's in the dirt. Here's the pitch. A line drive toward short. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. Pulls into second with that double, so he's in scoring position now with nobody out. Well, it's so important for your team to get guys on base and in scoring position early in the inning, and that's exactly what he did with that double. And it's Joe Creedy at the plate. 236 career average against the Red Sox. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Creedy will lean in on that zone now. Tough spot for the hitter. Down 0 2. You got to protect right now. Good cutter. Swung out and missed for the first out. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. Tome gets in. Here's the first delivery. He's wishing he laid off that one. A strike on a pitch in the dirt. Pitch on the way. And that's a strike. Tome is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Fastball got him two down. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in KK. So Johnny Damon thinks RBI. Last time up, flew up. On the way. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0 and 1. The batter was obviously looking for something else. You see how way out in front he was on that swing. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. The White Sox six. And it's Mike Cameron in the box now. We'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. They've decided it was time to make a change here. John, what do you think his strategy is going against this Boston lineup? Well, Bobby Jenks is one of these big, big closers that come in the game, kind of like they were back in the 80s and the early 90s. A big guy that comes out and throws absolute gas. Easy, smooth motion that generates 98 to 100 mile an hour fastball. He's a strikeout pitcher, and he finishes game. Headed for the middle. It's scooped up. That's one out. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. Lives are uh, you know, way big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. And it's Jeremy Hermita now. Bounced into a fielder's choice his last time. It's fouled away. And he strikes out her meat on a swing and a miss. I've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And the first pitch. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. Oh and one, Jenks kicks and deals. On the ground, this could be the ender. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. Well, it doesn't matter whether you win it at home or on the road. They're getting it done here on the road. But when you win the American League pennant, what a celebration. How fun is it? And you're headed to the World Series. Well, it's time here for the Pepsi Clutch performer. The standout man on offense today, Carlos Clinton. Well, you know, Gary, watching him in batting practice today, you can tell that he was getting locked in, and he proved that in this one with a couple of bombs to provide all the offense this team needed for another solid win. That's how you make a statement. This is their next to final step towards the whole enchiladas. They've got a chance to win it. They claim this LCS next stop, the World Series. From spring training, this team committed to try to do what they can to get to the World Series, and now they're there. They're ready to go. So for Steve Phillips and John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.